got spares and you got the worst. The biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. Oh, well, we're all of us. I mean, the whole band is inspired from KISS. Everyone's like huge KISS fans and stuff. And um, they got wind of, you know, uh, their, our liking for them or whatever and stuff. And uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons came to our a show we played at the Hollywood Palace and uh, came on stage with us and everything. And it was just, it was incredible. Well, one of the riffs on this, on the, in the middle part of the song has this uh, duplicate kind of sound as Enter the Sandman. So even in the, even in the lyrics we said, I know we sound like Metallica, I mean, it was just a joke. Right. But of course, you know, those poor, those guys in Metallica, they need the money so much, so they took 10,000 bucks off us. <laughs> Somehow, one of the videos got in the hands of a, a DJ in Seattle who thought it was like, who pl played the Pigs video and thought, this is, this three old Pigs song is like the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and hated it. And so he put it, he made a copy of just the audio and he put it on his local, alternative show and just the phone just lit up and it just started from there within two weeks it was like the number one requested song so they said you better get up to seattle and play some sh play a show everyone you know you're really a hit over there and it, we did we played that show and it just it's just seemed to spread all over the country well we have all, many different phases we have a production company that we built on sunset boulevard in hollywood and it's uh, we from there we do all our own work we do our music videos we do the artwork for the record we recorded our latest 333 record in the studio, we brought in a 24-track mobile truck and just did the album there. And we do a, we're gonna do a CD-ROM game, working on a TV pilot. We have all several projects coming out of our company, and, we, and every all the members of the band work in the company. Roy used to be real mild-mannered, meek Roy, <laughs> and since he's had this tumultuous year, he's kind of turned into angry Roy. Okay, right. so, divorce. Okay, I got divorced. <laughs> so you got to You got to hear this story. This is actually one of my favorite stories. This car, this really expensive car, pulls up, and some really attractive girl sticks her hand out and says, "Can you help me out of the car?" So I, polite guy that I am, I help her out of the car, and all of a sudden I get this. Oh, so she hugs me, and so of course I'm like, "Cool, no problem." Hug her back. Right. Well, I just kind of stood there, really. <laughs> You know, and uh, all of a sudden I hear this angry, you know, what are you doing with my girlfriend? What are you, who are you to hug my girlfriend? So this, some, some guy comes and gets right in my face and he's gonna start this big fight with me. So I have had a, kind of a tough year, so I kind of snapped and said, I'm gonna, you know, beat you up and if you don't leave me alone and, and I was yelling at him and stuff and it was, it was Kirk Hammett, the guitar player of Metallica. So these are the kind of things that can happen <laughs> to you in California. That's my brush with greatness. Okay.